hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll go to the open options and i'll give you the preset that is the dark type moody effect or the indo type dark moody effects so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so at first i'm open up this photo which is stock image from unsplash.com and i'll provide you that download link image download link actually just because of your practice purpose you can do the practice with this picture and this type of picture is available in unsplash and today what will be the color effect actually the moody effect is too much um, like a favorite to the peoples those who are like this type of moody type effect and dark type effect it will give the value or weight of a photo so we'll apply that things and i made a preset for you guys i provided that preset down only in my video description so i do always tell that please check out my video description for the presets and the resource files and other stuffs so let's go into that tutorial press ctrl j from the, the like background layer and it will help you out to copy another layer go to the filter camera filter always i do tell that the camera filter is a plugin of the photoshop and this one is the blessing thing for the photographers and photo editors actually this one is a plugin of the creative cloud version by default and if you want to use these plugins in your cs version you have to install it manually that's why i given the download link this camera filter link or download link in my video description please check it out so from here you'll get a small menu which is the load settings options and i just made a preset which is the indoor moody or dark moody and open it up so you'll get this type of effect so actually i have done here uh, what i have done here let's see and let's check it out what i have done here at first the exposure actually here are three or five or seven tabs one two three four five six seven eight nine tabs so i'm uh, in a first one and that is a basic one and here the temperature tint and exposure so exposure i made it 0 0.50 and the contrast plus 24 highlight minus 48 uh, in this type of dark moody or moody type effect uh, highlight will be reduce or minus value always and the shadow the just plus 46 white minus 43 and blacks minus 40 and clarity that is 37 plus 37 so why i made it 37 just because of i want to make it more clear and if i make it like this it will be like soft type so i don't want to do that i want to make it like that so i'm making the value that is plus 37 the saturation 30 minus 30 actually i just desaturated this one so here is the tone curve i just lock a point which is the rgb here are lots of things actually three things red green and blue and the mix up rgb so i locked it up and here is the grammar portion or the matte type portion if you want to make it matte or grammar type you will have to increase this one if i make it like that it will be more increased like that but i don't want to do that so this one is one is like uh, moderated here red i didn't do anything green and blue i didn't do anything and here the sharpening amount i made it 18 and luminance of noise reduction 30 and all the things is by default like uh, one and 25 here the luminance detail that is 50 don't increase it too much otherwise it will spoil your photographs here the hsl panel most important panel of the 
photo editing use saturation and luminance when you are getting the colors you will have to consider three things hue saturation and luminance hue is the color build what will be the color of the photo and the saturation how deep will be the color of the photo and luminance how light will be the color of the photo that means how blink or um, like a illuminated the photo is so at first the red one red color hue i made it 25 plus 25 here if i made it like a plus value it will be more orange type and if i made it minus value like it will be like pink type so i made it a plus 25 and orange minus 7 and rest of the thing is zero the saturation you have to if you just click here convert to grayscale it will be the black and white or grayscale so saturation of the all colors will be like uh, 24 12 the orange is 12 red 24 yellow minus 100 i just reduce the yellow from this photo and aqua minus 50 and uh, here the blue like that and all the thing is like that zero so luminance i made the yellow luminance that is plus 80 and orange i made it like a little bit darker type that's why it's like minus 25 and minus 30 plus 50 like that so here that split toning some of my fans just ask me that what is split toning so what is split toning actually split toning is that when you are getting the photo here is the shadow and highlight actually so shadow is what will be the color and the highlight what will be the color so these two things is the split toning that means you are splitting the tone with the color shadow and highlighting and another thing is mid tone so mid tone here is the mid tone so variance or vibrance so here the mid tone and i'm just adding the highlight value and the shadow value so i just added the, the highlight value split toning portion so two to eight and the saturation five and i didn't touch that rest of the thing no lens correction issue over here and the vignetting dehaze or effects dehaze i made it eight what is the dehaze and haze if i make like that it will be hazy and if i make like that it will be like uh, dehaze or black portion will be appear so haze and dehaze we got like that and here the camera calibration the primary three colors red green and blue here the red you will get plus 44 and green primary minus 38 and the blue primary plus 28 sorry actually minus 28 and hit the ok button you're getting the moody type color so for this type of photo i think this one is the uh, creative color for this photo so let's check out another photo in this effect i'm just opening up here is another stock image and actually this one is a stock image just opening it up press ctrl j for the copy of the layer go to the filter camera filter same process so load settings options i provided the like preset which is the xmp file and open it up yeah that's fine if you need you can change the shadow and highlighting or exposure whatever you need so one thing is that you can change the value of these things that means uh, the difference between actions and the camera raw preset is that when you are using the camera raw preset it has some assumption to change your photo like your environment that means if i make this one like like that it is not perfect if i change this one like that it will be perfect so camera filter is this one is advantage of the camera filter and but action you don't have that assumption to make change of your photo effects so hit the ok button you'll get the nice effect and it is moody type actually it's just increasing your you know, weight of the your photo so another photo let's try go to the open portion here is another stock image this one and open it up 
same process press ctrl j it will copy of this layer file filter camera filter from here load settings options and the indoor moody color and just open it up so in this photo that's fine but here if i increase the contrast it will be more amazing and if i change the clarity it will be more like prominent or other stuffs so if i made it like the highlight this one yeah nice and shadow increase so you have that assumption to change the things but basic color correction i have done over here which is like the moody color and if you need you can change it out to get that things so hope that you learn a lot from this video and i'll make a, a video in the action versus preset so camera preset versus actions actions is you have no assumption to change the actions but the camera filter you have that assumption to change your photograph so uh, hope that you will be glad to get the next episode and thank you so much thanks for watching my video as well if you have any kind of question query or request do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye